Does it have water? Hey everyone, when you're looking to buy land in Utah, you want to know, need to know what water comes with the land that you're looking to purchase. And most people look at water in Utah and they, they call it water rights. Whatever, it, whatever water it is, they call it water rights. There are two types, not just water rights. That is one type of water that you can purchase with land. The other is water shares. Now I'm, I'm going to talk about water shares in this video and remember as I work with you all my effort is to increase your confidence and reduce your risk and help you explain in this situation what are water shares and why you need to find out some information about water, water shares in this case that should be coming with land that you're purchasing or that you need to get with land you're purchasing. Now, if you want to learn about water rights, just click below. We have a link to a different video about water rights. So, okay, water shares. Now, first off, water rights, water, the water is all controlled in Utah by the state of Utah. From. So the state gives these water rights to different companies. Uh, and it can be, you know, it, it can be a city or a town that has the essentially is the company and receives those water rights from the state. It can be an irrigation company, it can be a canal company, a ditch company. So in this case, with this property, I'm on a property here in the Wasatch Back, um, has 56 acres, beautiful property, and it has 25 shares of irrigation water. So the, the water shares are connected with an irrigation company in this case. Like I said, it could be a canal company, a ditch company, a city or town. But what they do is once they get the right or the uh, permission from the state to have a certain number of rights, that company then will determine how many shares that they will have dispersed among the owners of that company. And and then each, each person or each uh, entity will receive those certain number of shares uh, for water. The shares are ownership of a company in a company that has a water right, so it was given to it from the state. All right. Okay, once you've found the land that you like, you know there's some water on it, two things that I, I just find critical that you need to do is first find out the company. Okay, if it's an irrigation com company, like in this case with this water, is find out the name of the company and you can go to the state's website, uh, the Division of, of uh, Water Rights, and you can get that company and you can see how many acre feet are included with each share of water. Okay, so for example, this, this land here, one share of water is equivalent to four acre feet of water. And, and you'll see on our other video with water rights, that's, that's a, a significant difference between water rights and water shares. But what it tells you is how much you're gonna be able to irrigate. Uh, if, if you're looking to have some type of a crop, and you can see on this crop, you can see that bell of hay uh, or that uh, grass rolled up there. It'll, it'll help you know how much you're gonna be able to water. And, and are you gonna have enough water to do what you want to raise the crops that you want? Um, and so you find out the company, you'll see how many acre feet per share, and you want to also then contact the company. Typically it's the secretary of the company, and you're going to ask them, okay, this is a property I'm under contract to purchase. Does so-and-so actually have 25 shares of irrigation water? Okay, then you find out, has so-and-so, are they up to date on their assessment? Okay, each share of water will have an assessment, as I mentioned, and that assessed money takes care of the system. Once you know that, you, then you let the, the company know that you're under contract to purchase the property and those shares. The second thing you want to do after you've got that information is find out what the market value is for those water shares. And, and that added to the value of the land helps you to know if you're purchasing a property at a good price. In this case, these 25 shares for the market value right now is somewhere around $40,000 per share. And so that kind of gives you a feel to say, okay, at this many shares, this many acres, 56 acres, 
um, you know, what's land been selling for that doesn't have water or land that has less water. Anyway, you working with your realtor, you can determine uh, the, the price that uh, you're under contract for, or even if you can get that information beforehand, what you should offer for the property. So let me just show you, um, and I just, I love this view. I love this view of Mount Tipanoyas here, but let me show you one more thing. And just to help you understand some of the differences, this is an irrigation company, as I mentioned, a canal company is gonna be different, a city, uh, I mean, Highland City, they own all their water. They do it a little differently, so it depends on where you're at. So here's the riser where the water is obtained for this property. So when it's, when it's time for this owner to get his water turned, he comes, comes over, over here. here and the water is, comes out of this pipe and then it flood irrigates his property. Now, if it's uh, some other systems will be a, uh, uh, you know, maybe a pressurized system that uh, goes to sprinklers, or it could be a canal system with uh, uh, gates and again, maybe flooded or some other type of uh, pipes or, or different things that way. So anyway, just to help you understand a little bit better about water, water and in this case, water shares. Now, one more thing about water shares is again the company owns the water rights and they give the the you know different shares out to the shareholders they have an assessment that you pay for each year they control uh you know and you're gonna have a water board that's with that company and if you can get involved stay involved so that your voice is heard but they'll control when you get to take the water how you use the water they'll they'll maintain some control there so those are some things where you look at uh, water rights and, and water rights are a little bit different when it comes to that control so anyway happy to you know share additional information with you help you out if you're looking at property and want to uh, understand water a little bit better and you know happy to work with you and and do whatever I can to help you out. My goal is to help increase your confidence and reduce your risk and help you get some property that you can enjoy and, and have as a, a, a legacy for your family. If you're looking to sell property and want to look at the value of your land plus the water that you may, you know, that you have with that land, give me a call. Happy to help you that way as well to get a good market value for your property and get it marketed. Take care. Talk to you soon.